just in the nick of time as that toxic screen comes through. But Fukashi, as much as I was talking about his setup, gets instantly done from Trex. And it forces him to keep going for a duel against Leo. He wins it, but Trex has lurked all the way in behind. Uh, Trex coming in with a pickup on the classic four versus three in terms of the player count as Guild hold the advantage into what is going to be their pose around the backside. Might cause a few problems, but that frenzy not great at long range. Element of surprise gone and Russ with the double kill. They've just one player left. It's Linksy trying to slip through the site. Snake bite pushing him forward and away from the bomb site uh, itself. And while well, he is left in a very precarious position, Trex with a 3k locks it in for one eight flight. Safe often. The player to try and create that space himself. He's pushed forward in towards Lamps. Sashi just trying to hold on and make sure that he can't split and crouch in the sight from two fronts. Leo, though, had an incredible game earlier, has just cracked open the skull of a cashew. Masashi's down as well. Rotation coming back in from Lynx. He's really Spike trying planted. to at least scramble together what he can. But with the initial hold off finding a single kill, it is looking good for Guild to take three. Lynx can't go for this peak because of the snake bite. Now Link's starting to actually find these opening kills, but Russ is expecting the peak. He's going to expect a closer one than Yanni. He goes, but he still can't win the duel. Now it's a one versus two, and Yanni could really make it a one versus four if he can close Whoa. this out. But again, Guild are looking comfortable. The defuse could have been stuck. Yes, could have been. He could have pulled it through. They were not peaking, and he got it over. Hey, versus Yanni round two is about to happen. If it's you winning a lot of these jewels, that's uh, very confident from him. Just couldn't get the gun out in time. And Link's able to take him down. Russ and Fukashu down, stepping up with the double. Hunter's Fury coming through. Hooker really trying to clear it out. No, unfortunately, it really wasn't a whole lot of what Rebels did right. And <laughs> more of what Guild didn't. Oh, Russ is trying to press up aggressively. And at the very least, Guild is forcing out a lot of utility. And also getting the kills that they need to with Fukashu going down. Oh, but look at that. I love Wants oh. to try and get an aggressive peak, an aggressive angle, but now he's stuck here. Yeah, it's trying to dodge running. the gravity wall because he knows his left. operator is back over here on the site. Musashi coming in with a follow up kill in the round. He did find the trade earlier and now has the advantage kill. And 20 seconds left. There's not a whole lot of time here for Guild, and they're still no closer to the site. They finally start to push forward. Trex kill on Lindsay is the call to go. And Call Dementa with the follow up shot connects. Masachu is doing everything possible to try and win this round. He's got a teammate back into battle. He's relocated completely back in towards Hookah. But that Viper's pit is up, and Trex has such a good position. Puts the satchel coming forward and brings down Jenny. It's now down into the two versus three. Health flow extremely low on kill. And comes the Rentus down. Fukashu's in with the 3k. He has managed to clean up the kill. And default, but such a good position for those Viper lineups. They're going to be putting it down there. Lovely play from Russ. Now, straight through the Cosmic Divide. Able to come out with a headshot straight away. Safe pushes forward with him. And that trade kill is effective also. Real Blazer coming through. Love this. Coming through the orbital strike, trying to make sure that that under heaven position is limited. But Safe still comes away with a pick. Lindsay and Gatch trying to pull these kills back, and they have. They've turned it into a two versus two. There is one snake fight available for the lineup here, Ryan. And shock guards as well. Outs. Yeah, well, there's the first one. He's also put the poison cloud right on there, so it's going to oh, decay wow. and chip away at these players. So it's almost like a, a double effect coming in. Lynxy still trying to stick it as much as possible. Oh, here we go. Leo's just going to run in. Oh, that's going to work. It. He's actually pulled off the D stars. Unfortunately, you know, even in traditional sports, right, it's always the striker or the it's the big star, right? And uh, I think that could be very fun. Gatch, building the line as much as possible. And the showstopper is going to be off the back of that. Deacus is going to find that there's a player close, so that's enough information for Jenny to get that connection onto Russ. Leo is just sage to go over to A and now back to B. These two players that are going to expect this push, well, Jenny's looking Ten in that direction. Mariko, that's going to move him. One okay, Gatch, first bullet accuracy Five not there, and because a. of that, unable right. to reset for the second, but gets the one for the 3k, and the time is done. I think this might make it awkward for Jani. Might just trying to hold up this position as much as possible. Could have been scared away from safety. Who actually did boost up onto the box, but Masashi is watching it. Look where he's playing now as well. Just off this toxic screen on the defense over on Showers. And off of his own Sage Wall. This is a real cheeky angle to be played from. But Russ is wise to it. Look at him. Russ is so good. Masashi is just going to peer around the edge. And the rest of his teammates are cleaning up. Masashi didn't really wasn't working against guild earlier today ryan from 10 star was 
pretty coy there, sneaking through this gap. Yeah, he knows that Russ is there. <laughs> just gonna absolutely barrel him through. Yeah, try and play with their wall, you know. Don't touch their wall, Ryan. It's, uh, I love the way they're playing right now. It's actually kind of fun just to watch the little gimmicks they're coming up with and really trying to work these picks, but... Oh, the drone goes in with a flash still. Sip was How's blinded. Link's is using a smoke to break up the site. He's even stimmed himself to take on this duel. He needs every advantage that he can get if he wants to try and beat out save. Uh -oh. Doesn't really matter in the end. The recall that gets everything. And Trex is the one that goes on through and gets those. Oh, fully blinded. Now that is, that is ridiculous. So good round from Guild. And, and that's... Masashi's at it again. Could have got the time right on Russ. And in that time, the cat... It is exciting to see Rebels actually testing him a little bit, trying to see if there is any weaknesses there on Guild. And so far, they've been able to inflict a lot of damage. Down to two players here, Guild. Cosmic Divide is up, looking to confirm the plant. Leo playing on the edge of this Cosmic Divide as he looks in towards Hooker. Now, we'll go down in just a moment. And we'll watch this retake attempt start for Rebels. They're not walking into the crosshair, they're letting it go down. And then he'll be used up as well as to try and get back in the position, but they got a hard check Leo, wise to his tricks, and remove him from play. It's now called the Menta, and he is caught as well. Brought down his four players, stay up for Rebels. What a brilliant round for them. What's that res towards the end? The aggressive dinks, so we don't have the utility, so we have to allow this to be a solid play towards A. And Vakashu coming in with a double kill. Leo tried to swing into the fight alone. Our golden enter is trying to fight in and around the sky smokes. He's gonna hear that spike being planted. Spike planted. He not be able to do anything about it. He hasn't really got the good position for it. Russ starting his flank from showers, trying to work in tandem with Cold Amenta, but that incendiary is just gonna hold him back. Last and now it's starting to look candy. so good for Rebels as they just get every single kill in the post plant. Jenny in a round like this, and this might cost Rebels. They're about to walk into a heavy number setup, and Leo has come in with a blistering first and a second off the Sheriff. Now, truly, they don't check the cubby because they had just cleared Leo out. So, yes, Russ certainly has a classic, but they won't be checking him. And so, therefore, the element of surprise might allow him to get away with oh, he one. he missed the timing. Yeah, it's not, it's not the one for the pick, though. The, the Sheriff, sorry, the classic's not good at that range, so he's having to use that information to call them into the one versus three stack, and now they overwhelm the player for Cashew. And now Russ has been spotted, trying to just get away with one. Damage done, wow. and he gets the kill. Oh, but this is what called him into being able to hear. He takes the peak, he's still somehow alive, and in fact is able to get one kill before Bukashu actually trades it through. Oh, the Trek's up on top, he should have taken at least one, he's not able to get anything. Yeah. Step in towards Lamps, has made that rotation back over, successful in the kill on Lynxy as we now go 3-3. Three, three. Spike is down and planted in behind that wall. And oh, Sid is ready for that to drop on down, but they have to be aware that the operator could be thrown over the top of the wall. So it is the double up inside of Lamps for the post plant. Guild are down a player. A deep fuse being stuck around the corner. Stamp has got it to half. Dash is wrapping on the backside. Kill is there. And Bukashi will close it for the third kill as we go in, in on the board. Just looking to close Away right into what's it, and that blade storm is ready around the back side. Masashi tries to back away in towards his crosshair. He's lost his life, and now they start to flounder. What do they do in this round? Left. Where do they go? Right into towards safe. They run, but Cold Amenta is around the other side at the ready. And Phantom comes through with the headshot, and now we're up a player on kill. Make it two. Right, headshot connects. Cold Amenta follows up, and Linksy goes down with the three K. Here comes the Seekers out. Now, could certainly deal with the Viper's Pit problem alongside with the Pain Shell. The area of effect of a Showstopper might just work out as well, but no damage done. Russ has been able to come through with one on the Yanni. Suddenly Trex jumping back into his Viper's Pit, dodging all of the ultimates, dodging all of the utility. And this hold is looking good for Guild. Still a shot here for Rebels as they try their final attack. They go forward. Gatch is brought down Leo, but Trex is still alive. Ralph. Viper's pit and Trex is flying up in towards Hooker and there's time. It's, yeah, there's not much time at all left. really here in this close position of Russ. Everything watched right Five now. Down, Beautiful beat. setup here from Guild. It just makes it so difficult to get in towards the site. So many ultimates used. That's round 11. Link Linksy? I mean, and Sid still checks the close. Find another kill, find another engagement. He does find Trex. And this isn't going to be a B hit. It's just Jenny over there. The rotate isn't happening. Cold Dementor knows that there's a bit of a bait and rotate here, and at least gets one before he's traded out. Still two plays live for Guild. Left. 
They're on the right side. And Leo is going to be holding down from Lamps. 24 seconds Player left. Standing. Swings out of his position. Gatch in with one as Leo will go down just leaving Sif alone. He's Spike pulled up the shorty to go with some close range fights, but maybe now has to think about that operator. And that rotation is coming very quickly. Get back over left. here to pull this defense. This could be a nightmare with 25 seconds left. Rebels have got to deal with this full rotation. Cash is in with one. The Trex is already there. Called the Menta in the fight, but the spike has gone down. And suddenly the numbers dwindle to half for the Rebels. They're down to three players. Viper, Pit, Pop, everything trying to be thrown at this one. They're trying to keep them alive in the round. And potentially give them a tent. Otherwise, it is map point for Guild on Pine. Sif has come in with a shot for Kashu, the last chance, the last hope. As he sits in the edge of his right, or pit, he'll go through and call the men to hold the right angle. It is now two. Can someone get this? Thank you. One of these areas where it's. Aggression does work out nicely, but he doesn't bother Trex. He's still allowed to fight. Don't have any ultimates available. It's just starting to look like just a death sentence, in fact. A coffin between ready to shut this one down. Gatch is about to go through this toxic screen. He has no other option, and tracks in with another headshot. Gatch is down, Mirachi trying his best, but Masashi cannot get it done. Guild, we've seen a little bit more of them. Rebels, there's still a chance to surprise. Now Leo comes in with a pick. Ganny is down. Fanti's siding here with Guild for the meantime is... Leo continues to move forward over the top, on top of the ropes, and now looks down in below and spots out Gash's head, brings him down, wall up and stops Leo's fighting as they have to safely plant the spike. And once again, a common theme throughout every pistol for a guild. Would you guess it? It is, of course, the safe sheriff. It's working out again. As you look down into the 2v4, at least there has been a single kill for rebels in this pistol, but we're not expecting much more as that sheriff just decapitates Musashi. It's just for cash, you're looking for his way back in. Never seen a team just look as comfortable. Despite doing some of the more craziest stuff, Gilgen hasn't quite caught Ag yet. Menta, follow up from him. Sheriff into play. Danny now down as well. Gets left behind. Ends up getting removed by Leo. It's not been a very difficult start to this game at all for Gil. It's just been a steamrolling in these first three. Lindsay tries his best with the and rage, but Raj just brings him down with. Guardian with no ammo. Fallen gear. Leo comes over the top. A flawless round for Guild. It will host him. So we told you, you know. So we sent you and asked for a gun, buddy. He'll send it right away. Yeah. You mean you, so got it. you got to do that? Now. What kind of crazy stuff are you gonna try and do? Masashi actually does really well to get the kill and dismiss out, and in that kind of chaos, Masashi can just start dunking on people from the high ground. There is still a little bit of time for him to slip through the Viper's pit and potentially find a way into this round. He has to take down the Viper, but he's only got eight bullets left Ten inside the night right now as well. Luckily does fine for Kashi, but he's not expecting the Heaven Player. That's gonna be easy for Lynxy, and that's- Behind him, both these players pass by, nobody's even checked it, and- You will not we'll carry on. my ally! Well, carry on indeed. Leo back to battle, and the Wait, site Masashi's is taken. Masashi is starting the flank. It's a five versus five post plant situation. Finally, Masashi starts to give away his position. It's one onto Leo, as so he'll dismiss away and keep his life. And now we have to look to the rest of his teammates to see how they're going to approach this replay. But look at that from Coldamenta. Tries to get around the side, but Yanni has taken him down. He was so ready for it, and safe now the player inside of the site. Who is causing problems for the retake attempt? Safe for three, finally down. As you look into the one versus two, Time? Russ, the newest addition to defuse, is being stuck. Russ hunts it down. Back onto the defuse for Sashi, but is there time? There certainly isn't. It will be Russ to get the playbook the guild are playing from. It's very difficult for rebels to just do something that they're not expected. Oh, Trax does get something at least out of that Hunter's Fury. And now Cop is the cash from Ruff to the Dreads. And on the attack, and so I'm actually able to get away with one. Just misses back into the crosshairs, unfortunately, of Trax. At least just 
desperately trying to hold on to this Vandal, sending forces after him, and he is doing well. Well, currently this B hit looking quick. Lindsay, oh, he had a good position, but gets caught by the recon forward. So, the element of surprise, his positional advantage just actually gets abused completely. No fallback there for Lindsay. Yeah, Musashi is certainly not checked, and he's in behind. He slipped the net for Coldament to wraps him behind him. What a disaster on the initial setup. It was cool. I like the idea, Ryan, but it seemed like Guild just had the answers to every single play there. Yeah, they always seem like Guild are very good at just having an anchor. Those supporting players of Guild have actually done quite a lot. And then Safe could just kind of do things like that realistically. And Rebels, you gotta feel bad for Link. He tried to go for a play and just got punished for it. But also, Guild were well prepared for a Masashi trying to go for something like he did. Silence. Shot from Gash, but 4k from safe. We'll close it out. So rightfully have to keep eyes on because he's in such a good position. He's got Gash got right, and that is an easy kill for him. Luckily, oh, there's a chance now, but Leo always got himself a double. Gash and Links, he go down in quick succession, and now that spike gets planted. The two versus four with Guild on the double. This is starting to look very good for Guild to close at 10. Cash is trying to move forward, trying to find a good angle, but he can start to isolate a couple of these fights. He is trying his best. Makes me proud, man, seeing these, like, young players that were working their way. Generally in qualifiers, the teams you play against are over the lower level. It's in particular, if you do well in the open qualifier and don't mess up your seating heading into the close, right? So, this is very, very good stuff out of, out of Guild and Trek. Trex is the operator now at this point, <laughs> and just so as much as Rebels were in a 5v3 lead, it's been tied up now for Guild. Trex is still posted up on his oh, angle, no. isn't really afraid of the Leah, and now the advantage has gone the full direction of Guild. Resurrect has brought it back, it's a good time to use this ultimate last round of this half, and Russ hasn't actually put down the plan, he was baiting out that util, and Leo, he looks away for a second, Masashi's there to punish. Hunter's Fury up for Trex. Could this be finally the round for Rebels? They've had one. And he has to worry about the right side. And in fact, on the right side of the wall, there's one. And he pulls out the recon bolt and right three and potentially start the first steps of a very long road back into this. But maybe their campaign to stay afloat in this game could certainly come into play. We move forward into the side. Oh, Trex right on the shock guard. Almost in tandem finds the kill. With the ghost, as the follow up is there, catch him with a double of his own, but Leo traded out after one himself and Vukashu! You know, this is just a natural synergy that they've all got together. Maybe working hard in the practice server. Right now, Rebels in the 4v4. Only a winnable round for them, especially with a play like that from Safe. Yeah, let's give it away the pick. Look out. Sage wall going down, the front is down. I'm oh, up on top. You were down into the side, but it's gonna be Gatch, the player that tries One to open up the remaining. killing count, and that's certainly gonna work out for him. Coldamenta has really no shot with his time, and none of his teammates close to the site versus three. The Rebels will be going up to five, and could this potentially be the start of a comeback? Now, attacking side Icebox, we can see these comebacks come through, Ryan. Was he gonna... He was gonna heal his team, I think. Uh, just caught out with utility in hand. There's a plane from. But Gilda pressed, and this is a nice angle for safe. Chico is gonna work out nicely for him at the very least. But Janny trades him out. Yeah, and he. And Linksy taking kills between them. That puts them into the advantage here. Just position. Snake fight's going down onto the site. They actually do clean away the advantage. And in fact, claim it off their own Leo. With a follow up on the second. It's suddenly just Gatch trying to pull it off alone. First half got it is. Second in as well. But that wall is certainly going to make it go a long way around. Rush trying to get it to half. No, he can do that. But swings into the open. And Gatch is a little gap. Leo is mostly prepared, still loses just the beginning of this round. Should they maintain this? That was a chance for Russ to pull it back, and in fact, he's got needed to get him out of a sticky hole. I don't know why the man's called safe, because the kind of plays this that he mental. does are anything, but he's yeah. gonna get so much information. Nobody's gonna clear this angle, no! and he doesn't get the kill! He shoots him in the leg! He misses left. the shot, and this is gonna mean he has to pull the blitz storm. Goes forward with it anyway, spike the knight, save him another one, and only safe to make that play actually look good. Now, suddenly, Vukash is into the one versus one. And this is round the spike is not planted, Ooh. and the position of Trex wide in the open on low HP. Sashi trying 
the around the side of yellow and here's oh no the spray is not good enough Call the mentor will stand tall at least for a second as Janny brings him down with a blade storm and he's gonna try and play forward three bullets left in that specter matters which is out the phantom instead on his end pop now for rebels as they look to try and hold down the site looking to give themselves a bit more of a comfortable plant position but russ has actually slipped his way through and actually will go down Yanni finds him finds the headshot and look at this from rebels they are just taking their time they're not feeling pressure to go and plant just yet they know they've got time on this block they know they can wait for the mistakes and save for bring the kill back for guild it's the fact that there's a Viper's Pit on attack and it's still such a scary thing for Rebels to actually get this fight planted. They don't know where Guild are playing and the adjustment in position is nice. All the way in like Snowman now is safe with that Oppie's let made his presence known and Leo through this spam for Cash who catches him. So they're gonna try and maybe shoot the right position and no actually gonna hang on to the outside. See if he can get the killer player that just even planted the spike and the right click gets onto the bike but that's the pit that's gonna drop and gatch will come in with a double down at b i wouldn't count him out to be able to the belt now exactly no that's where gatch and Bukashi are playing in and this view is going to allow Johnny to try and move in a little more it's a nice late stall and with leo getting a kill afterwards suddenly rebels might not have that much to work with Burke. he gets close though it is going to be a very strong position Trying to find the one versus one fight, and that's exactly what will happen. Had a shot there, and if there was another player from Rebels there to go stick his head out to see if the, there was a player there, if they had actually. Oh, for a few more risks on the defensive side, and that leads to more options for kills. And the Cashews come in with the 3k. Leo now trying to step up, and that's the spike. It's dropped, and now suddenly there is a shot at winning this round for Guild. Now they've just got to run to. What can he do? Is he going to check this? Is he going to get the right timing? One enemy remaining. Yeah, exactly what he needs to find was safe. That means left. that the operators know. Very good read on the game. And that's worked out. Rebels now up to 10 rounds. Rebels look to lean towards A, but look at the rotation coming back from Guild. They're sending players to get back here in time to try and deal with what is going to be a heavy attack into the site. Finally, first kill was that for Guild. Look how quick the threat is that from Yanni, though, as Leo swings out for the follow-up. So Guild once again back into the advantageous position, but it's always short-lived. Bukashu again find an impact, and he might get another one! Of course he will! Third kill for Bukashu, he'll back away, and this is starting to become a nightmare for Guild that they are losing players left, left and right. It is on the... Oh, they do. Remember, like, if they win this series and then win the next following one, they're in challenges. Guild, you sort of expect to be there. Rebels was a no-name. Really starting to look almost in their oh, no. favor at this point. They gotta try and pull this off. Everyone's this left. round. Goes to map point. Here's the full execute in towards the site. Snake fights trying to slow and discourage the plan of Linksy. Leo's come in with a pick, and that will finally be the advantage for Guild. And they've been able to hold on to it. The lineup from Linksy, though. He goes in with two. Cordamenta puts him down on the ground. And time is a ticking. Now they've got to go for the plant. And Janny is the long no. tricks. Goes up the rope with the head. on in these rounds. They have the ability to adjust perfectly when they need to. And even Trent. Yeah, it's just so much going for them right now. Ah, I'm a little bit scared of Masashi pushing up on his own. Especially if he goes down, there's no way that that Resurrect can come in and save him. It's such a gamble. This is a nice angle, though. But Surely there's multiple players there from Guild. Oh, oh my god, how is he not taking one kill in that position? Masashi is going to go down, and that's going to equalize out the numbers. Again, Resurrect is available if needed, but that Hunter's Fury begins to limit the positions, force them into a more uncomfortable spot, as now the retake attempt from Guild charges forward. It's in full swing. Half of the defuse to try and create pressure, create chaos, create panic right now for the attack inside. Their post plan is to res the tempt is there, but once again, deal with the full front of Guild heading their way. Safe is up on the high ground. Those are Bukashu's there on his own. He still goes for the peak. Bukashu still loses. Masashi now playing in close. Oh, wants to try and get the planter. And despite all of these Five players down, being feet. pinged by the recon star, this is trying to face. Yeah, the spike hasn't been able to go down because the wall was chunked down. There's still a little bit of it left, and they try to tap again, but there's only one place they can start to plant, and they're not committing to it. They're trying to fight. They're trying to get kills, and they're getting them. Two pulled in for Leo and Trex as they tap again onto the plant, trying to be held through. They're just desperately trying to put the spike down, 
I think they've managed to recover what should be their attacking round. Oh, Linksy through the toxic screen, a second kill as well. And then suddenly there's a shot at winning the round, but Trex will save the day. Like, Linksy's doing well here, but you've got to be stellar to beat out these guys on guild. Goes up and he doesn't want to give away his position. So for that now, he starts to drop back. He needs to be careful because he could be caught in such a terrible position with this operator. Spike it is one pick, a. but not enough time to dash away to safety. The reply is instantaneous, and that is going to keep the advantage siding with Rebels and followed up by Janny in towards the side attack. Four versus two. Like music when the water starting to come up and Sonic 2 to start playing. I mean, they know I called them into it, so they can work on that at least. Spike and yeah, planted. they managed to get out of the rising water just in time. They know I called them into it. I'm a little bit scared they're going to try the and 1v1 on. him here. Yeah, I called them into it. Has. Ahead of him, but he's certainly got a chance now. Suddenly a one versus one. Viper's pit available, and maybe, just maybe, the closer here for Guild. If they can pull this one over the line, it would be the most ridiculous oh, fashion no. for Rebels to go out. The Viper's pit on towards the spike. It's missed it. He can still see it. He has to get over the top of it, and oh, for Cash, who had the angle. The Viper. Dang it. Start the round. This could be a bit of a disaster again. In the right read, and that's the opening pick for Cash, who. Oh, Masashi able to find the follow-up, and this is going horribly for Guild. They are just losing every single player, and there we go. Cold Amenta. Have you ever heard of the one before? See, that's why. This kind of feel that Guild might be able to do something on their defense now, just always having that response. Now, Vukashu has taken those those star players we keep falling and talking about Leo and Safe. I know you guys are going to get bored of it. I'm just going to follow up, but I feel that this is... Trex yeah. is aware that this is a possibility. He's actually snuck himself nicely into Jenny. Masashi knows that Coldament is going to play in there. He out to see where Trex is. No he goes way. down as well. This could be Guild's first map loss of 2022. This is looking like an end of the perfect streak on Icebox of all maps. The map we talked about Guild looking so good on. And the team to hand them it, it's going to be Rebels. Let's see if the Guild retake is possible. Missed shot, missed opportunity for Leo. Russ is looking for the recovery as he gets back into play. Headshot connected. Safe looking for a pick, just no one giving him the chance. And this time is starting to tick. Safe goes down. It's all on Russ, the newest addition, and he is gone. Very low health. Too slow. Lovely shot from Janny coming through. Limpsy able to follow up with two classic kills. Walk through just one player left, and it's Cold Amenta in a one versus four. He'll try his best, but it's not going to happen. Amid safe able to look up the left side. Oh, he's going to get caught through the toxic. He's going to start to do that. Ooh. He kept it forward. Still has the ability to actually teleport away, despite being quite far out of where he originally put it. Now he's out of that position. And of course, you can right click to see a bit better with the ADS with the headhunting comparison to the sheriff, and that's how good it can be. Gil, this is a full buy, and Rebels have not lost a player, and it's a flawless as well on this attack team. Fours slide on up, go on down, and uh, Yanni has found himself one in the process. Linksy with his lovely guardian able to pick up. It's certainly Got not done yet as Trek starts to move forward. It's called Amenta. He's got another kill this time for the Marshal. Gatch is too close to Trek to really to make that happen, and Cold Amenta goes down on the follow up. It is all on safe to win out the round in the one versus two, and he has been oh. caught by the trademark. He's not even going to go for the angle. And losing three players will still have money. Gatch gets the free K and he's really come online. He told me to try and quell this whole aggression because it is so very much in the face. It is called the to the draws first blood, if not a little bit more. And Leo stops playing with Sashi trying to push standing. in and is doing so much Spike from this bridge a. position. Now Linksy all on his own. Is it expecting Rug to be this close? Viable to make this work here. And especially if Bukash is going to let his presence known like that, Russ can easily clean up. Yeah, he's wall. He has caused a lot of problems, but he's looked uh, away. Trex whisses the first bullet, but luckily recovers left. the spray in time for the headshot. And now Rebels looking desperately to get in towards this B site, but Safe has rotated over. Time is ticking. It is safe with another kill. Trex has gone down to the operator of Sashi, but they need to get the spike down. They need to start planting now. And luckily, Linksy's One been able to put it around the side, but look at that spike from Safe. Blitzstorm into the updraft. And he's able to deny the plan, and therefore the round. Leo the Bladestorm's activated, as is the Seeker. 
Well, the sash is blitz. He's starting to track him, and that toxic screen's gonna go down. He could just pop him, but Russ is quick, and because of the low in that position, he's found a great spot for himself. Oh, and no. I don't know, will they expect him to be there? It doesn't look like it. I don't it. think they do. Oh no, Russ is going to be in such a good position to just try and take them down from behind. They Russ cross into the site with 10 left. seconds left. Here comes the plan. Russ in the same Russ position, plan. looking to strike twice, and that's exactly what will happen. He gets his pick. He couldn't One deny the plant, though, remaining. and that might just turn things here. So Russ there is a chance for Tashu. Defuse coming remaining. through. It's not planted for him. Russ knows he can just hold it. He can just hold it around oh, the corner for Tashu trying to sprint, but the defuse uh, is there. Russ has... A camera doesn't spot. Oh. It's got a blind oh. spot. The camera actually cost Trex. Yeah, that is uh, unfortunate. Here goes the Tour de Four. It's one pick for Janny. Hunter Fury is good to eliminate the counter Sova. Masashi, even with that sort of way into this, but Coldamenta, he is actually relied on his teammate there to find that pick, and Leo has actually standing. given his teammate a chance to get back into the site, but not staying alive long enough. It's really unlikely that he's able to pull anything off. Janny, he's also going to get that information as soon as Russ and Safe forward. Is Janny in position again? He is kind of caught between two fronts right now, and will go down. The frenzy and the sheriff coming into play, and suddenly it is a man deficit for rebels. Maybe just around here for Guild. Oh, the Ghost is in a good position, but Trex is checked. Gatch brings him down. Suddenly the Seeker's out, really Last trying to get this run going ball. for the retake. Guild sending players and numbers in. It's all a Kashi, and he is alone in this clutch. Masashi trying to win it out the time. It is ticking, and it's maybe too far gone now. Russ really trying to find him, but he won't be able to do it. Has to back away, and Masashi. Nowhere to run! Sashi, player of the hour in the last nah. Oh no. So, yeah, whoever's got a. Pre oh, it's, it's me and Sesh that are on the desk for that day. So, at <laughs> least I get this one right. One of the games, yeah. He's going to enjoy it if it's big. That's what he's going to I'm sure he will. Look, he's down into towards bottom middle and certainly spots a player, but now needs to transition his position back over to the site as the operator and the arrest of the attack starting to arrive. Guild have got the numbers on the right side of the map, and with this limited time, you have to be perfect. In cross to the site and Trex perfect, but in his execution, he spots the attack forward. All the men's utility because they were so scared that they would be pushed aggressively. Now they're going to try and recast that as much as possible. The drop down goes right into the corner, and the Sashi with that second updraft can't get much. Russ again, playing with his life on the wasn't able to take the pick. So Guild, yes, still have the advantage, but there's a chance still for Rebels to pull this back. And every kill that goes in Guild's favor starts to dwindle. The chance is an opportunity now for the attacking side who get crushed to close it. After they can leave some guns in the spawn if they want, but also ultimates as well. Try and see if they can get through without breaking any of these tripwires. And Trex is still going to take that duel pretty early on. Safe there to try and help out from Tunnel. Here. This is much more I like it from it. Guild as you would expect against the lower tier buy that Rebels were able to present in this round down. and suddenly it is all just on for cash. And yes, he's an incredible player, but what just the Sheriff and five hungry players looming over the ducks. One of which, if anybody pushes up in holes, the other right on the site in a planting spot. It might not all matter if, Sha if Safe can just get shot like that. Ugh. Oh, lovely. From Trex, good headshot. Couldn't quite cool himself for the follow-up, and look at that from Vokashu, slipping around the back. <laughs> Rust was not expecting him to be right behind him so quickly, and safe with the classic Sheriff. That's why he loves the rock in the pistol round. It's down into the two versus three, now one was safe, just charging forward with the Sheriff. He just does it again and again with the Sheriff in the pistol round. That's Gil just steam. But they are seen from Kushu. Johnny's playing in close. That support from the Viper is gone, but Janny playing there, down, able to please. catch on to two. Safe is actually snuck in behind, but it might not even matter. Safe gets that second. And now on a two versus three, the Spike stat isn't going to show exactly where he's Last playing from. Standing. It's still a really good Spike position down, to be please. in. You can't count Safe out in these fights. The Spike still needs to be planted, but he's starting to be pushed. The problem is the Rebels Ten get caught out left. in these 1v1 scenarios, one and that's exactly what Safe is looking to do. Five seconds left to go in for the plant. Linksy hasn't pushed him, and now it's all on Linksy to deal with that pressure. Luckily, that's a clutch that he does win from. The wall bang angle isn't quite there. The idea is nice. He's not taking so much damage. All those shots, those traces given away, and unfortunately, he's not able to do much. 
I can see at least brings guild down to four players. There's a bit of firing going in. Spike planted all three of these rebels players. All coming in from the same spot, from the back of the bridge. Incrementally kicking these engagements forward, and Linksy now is starting to connect in these engagements. Leo's angle is nice, but Janny's wider peak is even better. The cold mentor now in a one versus three. One by one, trying to take those engagements. There we go. Okay, you, now now if anybody gets spoiled, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Covering it, myself. You can, it'll be an enjoyable series, no doubt. <laughs> Here we are. Killed. They will find themselves exactly three picks at the beginning of this round that put themselves into the two-man advantage and they take the site. This as much as Guild has for Rebels in some of these cases. Toxin screen down. We got you. Spike gets planted on default now. We have to look. Oh, Musashi, if he tries to peek wide with this operator, it could be a disaster because Stamper's come through. The guiding light comes a little too lit. Linksy. And suddenly the kill comes in. Linksy quick on the headshot. Yanni dropping back into a more passive position. Right. Hunter's Fury oh, still available, hunter. but it has to start to be used now. Trying to get Linksy, but he's got it to half. Managed to get that defuse to half. Yes, he will go down, but so will the members of Guild as the defuse is pulled through. It is stuck, and Rebels, what an important round to win. Well, he's been fully tagged up, but the operator was looking in his general direction. The fact that Kill goes towards safe because he's there doing safe things again. Of course he is. Lovely little tap to the head again in the place, oh, but he does get caught <laughs> drifting down from above. Akashi holds the gap in the doorway. And that's an important kill to give away here. Suddenly Guild are still in the advantage, but just by the one. Russ's good angle here should be good for at least one pick, and in fact, with the distraction of the teammates drawing the crosshair of Akashi away, should be even more, but he'll crush it in. Guild that had that comeback on Icebox. And now they'd have to win three in a row to bring us to overtime and... Well, very quick decisive map control from the guild. They're running back to the old faithful. That A attack that's stalked over the toxic... Rutt's gonna be looking out to the left side. He's been spotted here by the recon port and will go down. Rutt's out of range. And he's ready to do Position spotted by Safe, and suddenly a four versus three. Advantage for Guild certainly side with them, and they're looking to try and pull it through. But Rebels, they're still trying to stay alive, and they certainly are still in this round. Gold of Enta, pulling the kill back for Guild again. It's now just down to Gatch. He had some incredible rounds throughout this game, but this does not look like it's going to be happening. Gatch has to win a one versus three. He's gonna start wrapping around the pyramids, trying to turn them into 1v1s, but Leo catches his head.